inside the hook. Ass whooping home with a back alley beat down. Where for 10 cents a day, you too can help someone from getting their ass whooped. Please donate today. Our match for this evening, ooh, we got a good one. It comes from Yu Yu Hockey Show. That's right, it's our annual anniversary of watching Yu Yu Hockey Show. So we have for you, Yusuke, my bad, Demon Form Yusuke, whooping up on Sense Week. Let's get it. <laughs> you are indeed the descendant of the Mazaku, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> and what's so funny about that? This man has only one shoe. You know he coming to beat some ass. Since way up here looking like a failed party city costume. Fortune would smile upon me. How's that? I'm fighting a beast that only appears once every 40 plus generations. That's no mistake. So one man since we can't sense ass whoopings apparently. This you man, a psychic and you can't sense ass whoopings coming. I mean you should I mean the tarot card should have told you, man. <laughs> you should be careful what you call a fortunate opportunity. Your luck could run out. I mean, this man's eyes is white. He's coming for you, man! The skies are shooting lightning! Like that, was that in his power set? Was that in the, was that in the manuscript? The weatherman didn't forecast that shit! Weatherman didn't forecast his ass whooping? Hair does not do that. Go home! Go home! I'm telling you! Since we're still smiling like he's not about to get that ass drunk. The punch was so vicious that they didn't want to show you. It was like, this is too violent, so we're going to have the black streak. We're going to have to black it out and then to show the contact. It's about to get real. This man is sliding at a 45 degree angle. His legs are not touching the ground. He's not jumping on this man's head. This, he, is this real? Is, he, he is not using this man as a trampoline, he said. You he, are not going to sit here and tell me that. I mean, is, did we reach the pinnacle of rude? I, I don't think we're there yet. I swear he punched through him. Somebody call SVU. He is violating this man. His face, his, his fist penetrated his body. This is rude. The, the man is dead now, officially. It's getting hot up here, but you know what? We gotta pay those bills. Time for a commercial break. Have you ever been at your job and wanted to beat the shit out of somebody? Have you ever been at school and that one motherfucker just won't leave you alone? Well, here at Get Right, we make the products to aid you because sometimes your fist just isn't enough. So you run through the bayou looking for some fresh gumbo when two goons run up on you trying to take over for the 9-9 and the 2000. Whatever shall you do? But John, they trying to take my platinum watch and my platinum chain. Shut up. First of all, why you got that shit on? Second of all, I got the solution for you. You get you a 100% authentic voodoo doll. Now I got mine from a voodoo precept a couple of years back. You can probably find that same one. Second off, you get an item that belongs to the victim and attach it to said voodoo doll. In my case, I got some old No Limit gear. Third, you get to puncturing with said needles. Take for example, the eyeball. Ouch, bitch! Let's do the arm. God damn! And then you finish it off. Stab him in the heart, stab him in the heart, stab him in the heart. No limit gonna be done after this. Check out the craftsmanship. Forged in the deepest, darkest bayou of Louisiana. You can't get more authentic than this. I guarantee. Hey Mike, this dog kinda look like you. Let me get your brush. And we're back. Did you see him try to guard himself? 
You can tell. You can see the fear in his eyes. Resistance is futile. Just, just lay there and pretend to be dead. Maybe he'll leave you alone. Nine one one. Yeah, I, I like to report something. Oh, a, a, a witness of violence. It may be a hate crime. I, I don't know. We, just send somebody. All this time, he's just been hitting him regular. Now his fist can glow too? He went from regular to extra crispy. Like, he, he, he's not even using super moves. He, he hasn't called anything. I don't know what this is. This is just raw ass kickery at its height. Let him get the crown. <laughs> he is changing the landscape with this man. Do you still think that challenging me is some great opportunity for you? Well, do you? He said, I'm talking to you. I'm asking you a question. You will answer me, bully. I, I wanted to flash back when since we had that smug ass look on his face, you know, with that shit eating grin. Where is that shit eating grin now? <laughs> that is an upside down cross. This just got satanic. says there is no God in this beam. There is no mercy. There is no help. This is a whole other level of rude. Now have we hit the pinnacle of rude? We've hit the pinnacle of rude and he still has only one shoe. <laughs> did, did you notice the arc? Did you see the curve? He bent that beam like Beckham. You see that outline? You would think that's Sisley, but it's not. What it is, when the beam hit him, he doo so hard that it doo an image of himself. <laughs> right now, that's just getting rid of the garbage right now. Sisley died on the way, his, his corpse is over there somewhere. I guess he didn't. Kill the guy off screen. Like if they, if he has any final words, they have to travel three miles to go hear them. This is what happens when you don't give ten cents. So this ass whooping was pretty much over from the beginning. This wasn't an ass whooping. This was a violation. Well, join us next time for another episode of Inside the Ass Whooping. Well, we bring you fights like this and many, many more. But before you go, we got one thing for you. Where'd you go? I got the usher. I almost died. I almost died too, of shock. I accidentally ran into a Hugh Grant movie. Ugh, such a youthful haircut on such an old face. <gasps> and at this moment, he realized he had just fucked up. She didn't do anything. No turning it off now. <laughs>